Today we're gonna give our legs a rest and put our arms and abs to the test. Not only will you develop strong arms, shoulders, and core muscles in this workout, but your posture will look as solid as an athlete. Grab a pair of light free weights, a medium sized weight, and your bath towel, and let's get to work. All right, are you guys ready to work those arms and those abs? We've got Avia over here showing some modifications, and Raven, she's gonna be working it out with you. So we're gonna start with some big shoulder circles to warm up and get a nice big stretch all the way through that shoulder girdle. Think about really opening up the chest. I love starting with this one. I like get up in the morning, I'm just like, hey, <laughs> shoulder circle it up. Good, switch directions, go back the other way. Take some nice deep breaths in, really start to get the air flowing through your body. Ah, yes, good. Big circles. We're gonna start taking it to small circles now. So bring your arms kind of open here, nice and long, and just start to circle, circle, little, little circles. Get the tension going, start to get the blood flowing. Good, nice. Big deep breaths. And then switch directions, other way. It. Kind of get your mind focused on what you got to do today. Get your body working a little bit. You're only here for a little moment of the day, right? So really get here. Be present. You showed up for yourself. Now fully be here. Now we're going to go arms overhead and let's just do a couple little circles here inside. Like we're washing the ceiling. Wash the ceiling. Little circles. Good. Keep that forward head though so that you're not looking up and straining your neck, okay? Your shoulders should start to be burning. Let's go the other way. Yes, I know this can be like, oh, yeah. this is so easy yeah. at first. And then you're like, hello. <laughs> hello, shoulder. I feel you. <laughs> Good job. A couple more. I think I do baby talk way more often with since I have a baby. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry guys. You get a little baby talk from Anna every once in a while. <laughs> and relax. Now we're gonna go into some arms. For a runner arm, just like this, we're gonna kind of start to pump from the shoulders. Now at first, I don't want you to hold on to any weights, but as you continue to do this warm up, you might start to add like a two or three pound dumbbell in the hand to add a little bit more resistance. But right now, I just want you to focus on the movement, right? So you're really getting it right from the shoulder. A lot of people end up doing this, right? They're getting a like elbow workout. Nah, not today. We're gonna get shoulders moving as if you're a runner. So drive your elbows back. Drive your elbow back. Good, now speed it up a little bit, guys. Good, yes. Oh, I see Raven working. Okay, Avi has got it. I was a sprinter in high school, so I really feel like I'm back in the day right now. Bring it back. Yes, good, and relax, nice. Now I'm gonna have you grab your bath towel for this last one, and I want you to grab it at the very end, so as long as you can get it, because this one is gonna be challenging for most people in the beginning. So if you have a band, it might be even easier, but you're taking it from the end, you're gonna go in front of your body, you're gonna pull that towel apart, and you're gonna try to bring it all the way to the back, right? Go slow at first, because this can feel challenging sometimes, you know, in the beginning, so if you do have a band, sometimes it's easier because a band has a little more elasticity. Good, nice, I see that, good. So if you're feeling like, oh, I almost don't get there, I almost don't get there, it's okay in the beginning, okay? So you can modify it by going without a towel in the beginning, or you can simply go wider if you have a longer towel or maybe a sheet, you can use that. Good, and then we're gonna go with a little bit of a rotation. So I want you to come up over with your left hand around the back and come forward with your right arm. Good, so again, your left comes around. You're trying to keep that towel long, so I'm still pulling that towel apart, okay? So keep the towel long as if it was a PVC pipe or something. Now let's go the other way. So let's go with the right arm up and over. Good, and then the left comes behind and forward. Good, nice work. Couple more, let's go one more with the left, with the right coming over the top, all the way back. You're gonna have some healthy shoulders, my friends, if you start mastering that. All right, go ahead and drop it down. We're gonna start with our first circuit. And what I want you to do for this first one is grab your light free weights. 
All right, everybody's got a pair of light free weights. Anywhere from two to five pounds is gonna be perfect. You're gonna go into a little sumo squat position to work your legs, get your core involved, and you're just gonna start here by punching forward. So you're doing a nice reach, extending the arm, right? It doesn't have to be too high. I don't want you punching upward. I want you punching straight out so I can see your face. Your abs are tight. Your shoulders are working here, really warming up. Now, if you wanted to increase the intensity here, you could go both at the same time. Extend, bring it in, extend, pinch oh, it back. Yeah. I feel this. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I really want you to, when you pull it, pinch, press, pinch, press, pinch. Good, all right, so those shoulders are gonna get warm really quick. Yes. How you feeling, Avi? Yes. Good. If you wanna go lower in that squat, you can feel it through the legs a little bit more. But today, you can also give your legs a break and you can come up a little higher. <laughs> Good, a couple more seconds. Three, two, last one, one, and relax. Now march it out, you're on both feet and you're gonna do a Travolta, all right? So arms are up here at 90 degrees. We're staying alive. We're gonna bring one arm across to the hip and bring it back up to 90 degrees. Alternate to the other side, down and up. So your elbows stay up at 90 degrees. You're turning your palm down and up, and you're pulling from the back of your shoulder. Now, a lot of times I'll challenge myself by balancing on one foot. This advances the moves because it really requires a lot more core, balance, strength in my shoulders, because now I'm being pulled as I bring that weight up and I've got to fight it, fight the resistance. And make sure you switch legs so you get both sides. Good, you guys feel the burn? Yes. Back of the shoulders, this is the rotator cuff. <laughs> Woo! I feel it, I'm always challenging my balance any chance I get. Good, down, up, good. Get one more second, two, last one, and relax. Okay, now I want you to grab your heavier weight, set your light weights down, and we're gonna go around the world. So, you're gonna take that weight with both hands, your feet are about shoulder width apart, you're gonna bring that weight around, the world, draw in a big circle, bend the knees a little bit so you keep your back nice and straight. And I want you to just slowly rotate that weight. So you're getting all the angles of the shoulders here. Your abs have to work and stabilize you. Breathe, good, you guys look great. Nice big circle. So the heavier the weight, the harder this is gonna be. So if it feels really light right now, maybe grab an eight pounder. If you had a five pounder in your hand, right? You can always increase. Let's go the other way. Whee! Here we go. <laughs> Around the world. Nice work. My shoulders are on fire. Me too. <laughs> I'm holding eight pounds and it feels like 20. Good job, you guys. You're doing great. Breathe it out. Notice how we're bending the knees. We're letting our back stay nice and straight. Last one, and relax. Okay, let's bring it back into that sumo squat. Add those punches. I know the shoulders are on fire. Drop it low, here we go. Punch, punch. This is your move to start. If you wanna increase the intensity, it's boom and back. It's punch and squeeze, punch and squeeze. Oh my gosh, my shoulders are crying. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Woo. Now remember too, with all these moves, you can always drop the weight. So if right now you're like, oh my gosh, Anna, my shoulders are too on fire. I can't keep going. Even your arm weight is gonna feel like a challenge. So you do what you can do here. Try to keep it up, breathing it out. You can always modify and go boom. One and two, pinching the shoulder back, press and pull, press and pull and relax. Come on up, Travolta time, elbows at 90, let's go. Knee up, bring that arm across. You're just touching that thumb to the hip and bringing it up. Pull from the back of the shoulder and pinch down and up, down and up, good. Good, keep that breath flowing. I liked hearing that breath from Avia over there. Good, that's <laughs> what you wanna do, keep it flowing. A couple more seconds here. And switch legs if you haven't already. You guys are almost done, keep it going. 
You always want to kind of balance it off. I know I tend to balance on my left first every time, you might notice. But that's because it's more challenging on my right. Got to give it some love over there. Good. Abs are working because I got my knee pulled up towards my chest, right? So my core is engaged all the time. And relax. Oh, grab your medium sized weight. Let's go around the world, my friends. Last one here. Let's go. Big circle up, down, rotate. Now remember, you control that momentum. So as that weight comes down, don't just let it drop, right? <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, thank God, right? I want you to go slow. You control the weight, you control the tempo. By keeping that control, you're working your shoulders and your core. Let's switch up directions, other way. Down and up, down and up. Good. I feel like the down phase is the hardest because that's where you're really fighting gravity. <sighs> Trying to avoid letting that weight take control. And relax. All right, one more set of the sumo squat punches and then we're moving on, my friends. You thought you were almost done with the sumos, didn't you? <laughs> I love you this much, okay? We're here. We got one more. You can do it. Breathe, breathe. <sighs> back and forth. You might notice that we're punching. That's because my shoulders are like done. They're done right now. You're not alone. <laughs> right? So <laughs> it's like you got to modify the way that you need to. And if you were doing this workout over and over again, you might be like here the whole time. I'm going to add a few of those right now. Out Ooh. and in. Out and in. That's it. Come on. Last couple seconds, you can Woo. do it. I feel the burn. Yes, you got this. Out. <laughs> Come on. Two and one. All right. Woo. Good job, you guys. So now you're going to come down on one knee. If you need a pillow or a towel underneath your knee because they're sensitive, grab it now. You're going to take the weight, medium sized free weight, across the body, across the knee that's up, and you're going to come across the chest. I'm going to keep looking towards you because that's where I want your eyesight to be. Here and then here, down and then up. So when I come across my body, I'm stopping the weight at a certain point. I don't want to rotate too far. Down and up, down. And my arms aren't fully bent, right? They're kind of long because I want to feel that, le that lever of that weight pulling me. So I'm working my whole core and torso here. Up and down. Up and down. Let's switch legs. Go on the other side. Lots of stability here. The heavier you go, the harder this is to stabilize. And up. And up. Good, that's it. Keep your eye line towards me. Try not to keep yourself rotated or you'll be like, whoa, I just fell. And if you do, you can really feel that resistance that you have to be fighting with that weight as you bring the weight up, nice and high. Up, nice and high. Whew. Towards the sky, towards the floor. Towards the sky, towards the floor. Whew. That's it, almost. Three, two, one. And relax, awesome job, you guys. Now, set that down and grab one of your light free weights, but if you're modifying, I want you to go without weight to start this one. We're gonna start in a modified side plank going from the knee and the elbow. And right here, you can already feel the work happening in your shoulder and in your obliques. Now with this weight, you're gonna start with your arms straight on your body, bend the elbow to 90 degrees, and then open up the palm and lower it down. So I want you to lift and lower, pulling from the back of the shoulder. Now you can do this without any weight, right? So you're working on the side plank, you're working on the range of motion and mobility and through that shoulder. But once you feel ready, you can add a three to five pound dumbbell and this is gonna feel really heavy for just about anyone. Good, breathing it out, exhaling and let's switch sides. All right, so planking on the other side. How are you guys feeling on that? Oh, feeling good. I know. So feel that one in my shoulders too. <laughs> yes, exactly. Lifting up, you got your arms straight, bend at 90 degrees, you're gonna pull up and down. 
keeping the elbow in as tight as possible. A lot of times your elbow wants to come up here, but that's because you don't have as much range of motion, so you're trying to work on your range of motion through the back and the shoulder, so it's hard, but it's really important that you focus on pulling it down and back, down and back, good. Couple more seconds. Remember, you can always drop the weight. You can lift the hips. Come on, keep the hips up. I know it's hard. Everybody wants to fall to the floor and relax. Awesome job. This is not an easy one. All right, so keep your weight to the side and we're gonna go into a plank and reach. And from here, I want you on your knees with your knees almost as wide as your mat. And from here, you're going to kind of lean into your right side and reach with your left arm. Come back down. Reach with your right arm, leaning to the left. So you're leaning and reaching. You're leaning and reaching. Normally, I say, you know, don't worry about rotating your hips. I say try to keep your hips square to the floor. But for here, we're almost doing a little bit of a rotation through the trunk. You can add the intensity here by going onto the toes, all right, and opening up this way. So do what feels good for you right now. Or you can always say, Anna, I'm just gonna hold the plank. How about that? And I am good with that too. So lots of variation here and lots of different ways to work through it. And relax, beautiful job. You guys are awesome. Grab your heavy or your medium sized free weight. Let's go back into our chop, okay? So you're kneeling one side. Let's chop across the knee and up over the body. Down and up. I always feel like my range of motion here is less than the other side. I feel like, ugh, when I go up high, it's just not as easy. And that's okay, guys. There's always gonna be that little bit of discrepancy between the left and the right. Just keep working through it. Might feel a little more awkward on one side. It's totally normal. Up and switch, Whew. other side. I know, my arms, my shoulders, woo! <laughs> Hold on to your weight, don't let it go. I also like this one too, using a medicine ball sometimes because it makes me feel super athletic, you know? Oh yeah. Whatever you got in the house, really. You could use a book. Your baby. You could use your baby. That would be heavy. Oh, maybe when they're really, really little. Good, up and down. Four, I'm abs are burning. tight. I know. Three, two, and one. Now grab that light, free weight or none. Remember, you can modify this one without weight. You're going into that side plank, lifting. Start with that straight arm, bend the elbow at 90, and open and close. Keep the hips as high from the floor as you can. The tendency is to let yourself fall. If you have to rest, obviously rest, and then come right back up into that side plank. You could also modify this one too by laying all the way down and doing that extra rotation, which you've seen before. All right, this one can work as well, but we're trying to work a little extra in the obliques. Go ahead and switch sides. I know. Uh, my right side is so right. much easier than my left side. <laughs> yep. We're always gonna be stronger on our dominant. Let's lift and squeeze. You got it. Down and up. Breathe it out. You guys are doing great. Now, even just having this little bit of weight in this side plank position is adding so much to the whole side of your body here. And so if you're going without weight, you're still working the obliques and the shoulders and you're getting the rotation and working on that mobility. So don't worry about starting right here. That's awesome. Three, good, two, and last one, burn. Okay, you guys ready? Plank and reach. Let's go with it. So you can go from the knees or the toes, it's up to you. All right, going down. Make sure your knees are wide if you're going from the knees because you wanna have a wider base of support so that your back doesn't feel compromised, right? It's okay if you go even as wide as your mat. I'm okay with that. That's actually gonna create less pressure on your low back. All right, you're taking the weight off of your full, the full body. If you're going all the way on your toes, you're really gonna feel it. Because now you're supporting your entire body in this position. And this is a great challenge for those of you that are ready. And relax. Oh, walk it in. Now I want one more of those really, uh, really effective chops. But we're only gonna do a speed round here, okay? Oh. <laughs> I love Take a speed. deep breath. Did you just see me give a deep breath there? Yes, I did. 
Here we go. It's down and up. Let's go. Up and down. Come across. Down. Good. Control it on the way down. Pause and rock. And rock. You got it. That's it. Speed round. You can do it. You're working hard. You got this. One more. Let's go up and switch. Other side and down. Let's go. Chop and down. And down. Good. Breathe. Come on, shoulders. You're doing great. Abs are tight. That stability, you need it from your core. Come on, you can do it. Three, two, yep. <laughs> And one, awesome. All right, grab a sip of water. We got our last little circuit here. And we're gonna start by holding on to that medium-sized free weight. Mm -hmm. You can do this one without weight as well. But we're all gonna show you what this looks like with a little weight in the hand. And you're gonna be seated with your heels towards the floor, toes up towards the sky. Holding on to that free weight, you're just leaning back a little bit. Remember, you can go without weight to start if you want to. You're gonna lean back a little bit and we're gonna rotate side to side. Okay, so we're just giving ourselves a little twist back and forth. Now, if the weight is closer to your chest, it's easier, all right? If the weight comes down towards the floor, it's gonna be a lot harder. So you gotta feel where you can do it without compromising your back and feeling that you have control. That's why sometimes it's good to start this one without any weight, so you can just feel kind of where you're at with the strength of this. Back and forth, getting all the muscles of your entire core. Breathe it out, last couple seconds, two, one, and relax. Awesome job, you guys. Now, set that weight down, and we're gonna go into a narrow grip push-up. Couple variations here for you guys, okay? But the important thing is, is that your elbows are gonna glide right along your rib cage. I want you to be on your knees in a nice plank position. No butts up in the air, this is not the position, right? Sink your hips down so your body's in a straight line. Elbows are gonna come straight back, gliding along the body. You can come all the way to the floor, and then you wanna push up as one unit, coming all the way to the top. Now you can do this by bending the elbows gently and pressing up. So if you don't wanna go all the way to the floor, you can work on just working on the elbows coming back a little bit and then pressing out. Coming all the way to the floor is a big challenge, right? It's because you're coming down, and then you've got a lot to push through, all right? So you find where it's comfortable for you. Elbows, just important that they don't pop out. Everyone wants the elbows to pop out, but I want them to come straight back, down, and up, and relax. You guys feeling good? Yeah. That one is really challenging, so good job with that. Now grab your light free weights here and come up to your feet. You're gonna be as if you're a skier on the mountain. You're gonna have your feet about hip width apart, your knees are bent, you're bending forward, you got your ski poles in your hands. Those are your light free weights. Now you're gonna pull those ski poles back. Hold for a count and then come straight forward. So you're here, pull back, squeeze. You're working the triceps, you're working your shoulders, and you're just coming back and forth here. Now if you wanna add a little intensity, you can pick one foot, one ski <laughs> off of the ground. And you can do this one, really challenging a little bit of the glute and the core to balance and stabilize. But really focus mostly on the arms. Good, you can switch legs, keep going. You're almost there, pull it up, pause at the top. Remember to pause at the top, that's where you're getting so much strength. Belly's pulled in tight, and relax. Awesome, okay. Setting it down, grab that medium-sized free weight. Let's go into that seated sidewinder, okay? Ooh. Lean it back, bring it side to side. Now your first round here, you were in a position where you're testing out the weight that you want to use, maybe no weight, maybe a light weight. Now if you're feeling good, you can always pick up the feet and you can feel yourself challenged to hold the weight of your lower body off the floor as well as the upper body holding that straight back position, side to side, good. If you wanted to, you could also say, I wanna to try to pick my legs up, but the weight feels too heavy, so then maybe you would drop the weight as you advance this move with your feet off the ground, and that's another way to change it up. Back and forth, you guys are looking good. 
side to side. Back, forth, and relax. Oh my gosh, doing great. Let's go back into those narrow grip push-ups. You only got one more set of those. So really focus on your form here. Think about marrying those elbows right along the rib cage. Start with your hands underneath your shoulders. Drop the elbows straight back. That means your hands are even with your chest when you get to the floor, and then press up. Good, all the way down. Good, and press up. How are these ladies looking? Oh yeah, oh. looking good. I love the elbows staying in tight. You're doing great. All your yogi friends would be so proud of you. Good, that's it, breathe it out. And here, remember too, you can go halfway and press up. Halfway, press up. You're just working on elbows coming straight back. Last one. And relax. Grab your light free weights, come back up onto your feet. We're going skiing. All right, I'm not a skier either, I'm a boarder, so I'm just trying to make stuff up. Here we go. Knees are slightly bent, pull back and squeeze. Maybe you want to get fancy because you are a skier and you're working on getting ready for the slopes. So you want to work on those arms and those glutes. And you're on one leg, balancing it out. Ooh, Raven's going to try the balance as well. For it. <laughs> Good. You can switch legs if you want to here. Really focus on your form. Your back is nice and straight. You're pulling those arms up towards the sky, giving it a one count at the top so that you're really fighting gravity. Breathe, two, one, and relax. Awesome. One Yay. more set of seated sidewinders. My friends, you're doing amazing. Don't quit on us now. We got your back. Let's go. Find where you're comfortable. Let's start twisting it out. Back and forth, leaning back, but keeping a straight back, right? So not a hunching here, right? Not a hunching. You want to keep your back nice and long. Let your abs do the work to support the spine. Lots of variations for you to choose from here. That's it. Breathe it out. You can do it. Grand finale. We're going to stretch it out in just a second. You're doing great. You're working your abs, your obliques, your shoulders. You got it. Three. Two, one, and relax. Awesome job, ladies. Awesome job, you guys. Now, hold it there, and we're gonna be in the seated position to stretch out the shoulders and the chest. So I want the hands to rotate, opening up. You're just gonna open up your chest in the seated position. All right, so the closer you bring those hands behind your back, the closer you bring them together, the more you're gonna feel that stretch. So maybe they're wide right now where you're like, oh, I feel the stretch right now. You're getting it through your biceps, your shoulder, your chest. Or maybe you can walk those hands a little closer together. Pop the chest open. And let those shoulder blades roll back. That looks great. You guys feel that? How are you feeling back there? Good? How are you guys doing? Great job. Great job. Good. Good, then I want you to come into a cross-legged seated position and I want you to bring one arm across the body to stretch out the shoulder. This is really gonna pull a shoulder blade, that shoulder girdle across the chest. You wanna lengthen all these muscles. So drop the shoulder, remember. Don't be up here. Your shoulder shouldn't touch your ear. It should be down across your chest, giving it a hug. Give it a hug. Breathe. So proud of you for getting through this one. This is an isolated shoulders, arms, and abs workout, and you just did it. You're gonna get stronger each and every time. Switch up arms. Before you know it, you're gonna be breezing through this one, but you're gonna be so strong all through that upper body and core. Breathe it out, nice job. Good, and the last one I wanna finish with is a tricep. So if I'm here, I want you to see one arm is gonna come up and I'm gonna reach towards the middle of my back and I'm gonna grab that elbow. So here, I'm getting a nice stretch through my tricep and my lat. We worked that on the skier there. We worked that on the push-ups. 
and oh, I'm gonna side bend a little bit. So I'm gonna shift away from that side of my body and get a little side bend as well as a tricep stretch. You guys like that one? Yeah. Yes. My tricep. I just bit. feel like all these stretches release all the muscles I am feeling right now from that workout. <laughs> Go ahead and switch. So bring that arm up long. Reach in between the shoulder blades as much as possible. Grab that elbow. Pull that elbow up towards the sky and then give yourself a side little side bend. You don't have to go far. You're gonna feel it with even a slight little bend away from that tricep. You're gonna feel it. Amazing, awesome job. You showed up again for yourself. You did it, my friends. We did it, ladies. Yes. Awesome job. We'll see you next workout.